Hello. Good afternoon, my fellow of God. God bless you all mightily, powerfully in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless God for making us to see a day like this, my people of God. Bless you, people of God. Hallelujah to the most high God. We thank God Almighty, His faithfulness, His goodness upon our life. I bless His name, my people of God, before we start. Let's close our head and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God Almighty, King of kings, Lord of Lord, the King of all glory, Lord, I worship you this hour. Thank you, Lord, for making us to see a day like this, O Lord. I bless your name, everlasting Father, King of kings, O Lord. Lord, let your name be glorified in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, anywhere we are conscious of your glory, O Lord, have mercy upon us, O Lord. Father, as this word is coming forth, O Lord, may I not speak on my own in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, teach me your word, O Lord, and let this word deliver us and set us free from bondage, from captivity for living in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my heavenly Father. I cover this broadcast with the precious blood of Jesus. Cover this platform for the precious blood of Jesus. Everyone that will listen to this message, my daddy, I cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. My people of God, God bless you home mightily, powerfully in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to share a short message by the grace of God. Hallelujah. I have to read the word of God for us. So no, before I go to the word of God, my people of God, the word of this life we are, we are children of God. Jesus Christ has created us. We have known the word of God. We are buried in the Bible. So we have to tell everybody. We said go to the whole world and preach and preach the good news and tell people about him. Tell people about Jesus. Tell them that Jesus Christ is the way. Tell them that Jesus Christ came to die for them. Tell them that Jesus Christ loved them. Tell them that Jesus Christ is the holy way, the truth. According to John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. You have to let the truth know. You have to speak the truth. Tell them about sin. Tell them what God ate. Tell them what God ate and what God loved. Most of us, the believers, we are afraid to tell the truth to the people. We are afraid because most churches, they are afraid to tell the truth so that their members will not leave, so that they will not miss members. It's very, it's not right. That is a sin because you have to say the truth. Let them know so because the truth is the one that will set them free. So that is why it's very important that you preach it. You tell them what is the Bible says against. Don't tell them, don't turn it upside down because you are afraid of man. The Bible says you should fear the one that is able to kill your body and your soul and take it away. Then the only to fear the one that will kill your body. Don't fear the one that will kill your body. Say the truth and let the truth set them free. So why are you hiding the truth? People of God, why are you hiding the truth? You know the truth and you don't want to say it. You know that what these things they are doing, this evil, this uh, lie, this adultery, those sins, that if you take them to hell, hallelujah, but you refuse to tell them, you are cover it from them. You don't want to miss your member. It's, it's, it's very bad. And God hate that. So if you are doing that today, please repent. Repent and say the truth. And tell them about the Jesus Christ. Tell them about the, the love of God. And also tell them about the danger of God. Because Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29, he said, well, God is a consuming fire. There is hell, there is heaven. God is a lovely father. But what about the other side? This where they are seeing. If they are doing things that is pleasing God, God is going to please with them. The Bible says, he said, if your ways pleases God, you will make the enemy to be at peace with you. Hallelujah. So tell them the truth. Tell them the things. Tell them the truth. If they did this thing, if they kill, if they fornicate, if they have boyfriend, you see many churches, they say boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Say boyfriend and girlfriend. When the Bible says we should, they should not have boyfriend, they should not have girlfriend. They marry. What's man and wife? That is what the Lord is talking about. So having a boyfriend, a girlfriend, I don't really understand. That is not the gospel of God. Tell them what God will hate so that they can be able to repay. Most members, they don't know. People did not know the real truth. And I pray that God wants to help us and set us free in the name of Jesus. But I also set the church free and set the children of God free so that they can be able to stand for the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So my people of God, I'm going to the Bible verse now. I'm starting for verse 33. I'm starting for verse 33. Matthew chapter 5 verse 33. Always speak the truth. My topic today, always speak the truth. Be a truth speaker. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid for those that will kill your body. Be afraid for the pet, the man, this God Almighty that will kill your body and your soul and take to her. Speak the truth, people of God, brothers and sisters, mommies and daddies in Christ, preachers, servant of God. Men of God, women of God over the whole world, well, let us speak the truth. He says, speak the truth. Always speak the truth. When you speak the truth, the truth will set you free. I'm reading my first, 
5 verse 33. I read, I read the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord of mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, and, amen. He said, he said, and, he said, again, ye have heard that it has been said by then, O time, that shall not forswear thyself, but that shall perform unto the Lord thy Oops, verse 34. But I say unto you, sweat not at all, neither by heaven, or for it is good, or for it is God true. Yes. When I say, say sweat not by the truth, say God true. Don't need to swear. Don't need to make any vows. And put the word says, I swear in the name of God, God in the name of God. No, 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 no. It's, it's a sin against God. Don't swear because that's cruel. The, so, so you say, I swear, I swear in this. All, that is not the children of God willing. Really. So you don't need to swear in, at all in the name of the Lord in anything. Your suggest is your just, your no is your no. So verse 34 says, okay, verse 35 says, not by the earth, for it is full so, it is full too, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. You see, also, verse 36 says, neither shall this, that swear by the hair, because that cannot make one hair white or black. Okay. Verse 37 says, but always communicate be ye ye for whatsoever is more than come out of evil hallelujah my people of god this is the word of god is making us to know that we have not to swear by anything at all as a believer you have to speak the truth tell the truth to people of god tell speak the truth to the children of god let them know the truth so that they can be so free from their their sin the bible makes us to know according to matthew chapter 8 hallelujah thank you jesus thank you holy spirit Thank you, Almighty Father. He said we shall speak the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth of God. Tell them the word of God. Let the truth let them, let the truth set them free. Let them know the truth so that they can be able to deliver from their from their from their sin. So if you don't if you don't speak the truth to them, they will not know where they are wrong. They will not know where their hero is. So you have to tell them the truth, and so that they can be able to free from the truth. Speak the truth to the children of God, and I pray that God will help us to stand for the truth in the name of Jesus Christ. People of God, God bless you mightily. It's just a trust message. Always speak the truth. Let the truth set people free because the truth is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that is going to set them free. When you know the truth, when you know that what people are doing in your condition, in your ministry, whatsoever. Call, the, talk, call them. Tell them with love. Tell them that this thing is a sin. Speak to them. Most people are going to hell today because they don't know the truth. When they will reach there, they will be, they will be saying, my pastor they don't tell me. My mama did not tell me. Nobody tell me because no one let, let them to know the truth. All their messages uh, 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 philosophy. All their messages is, uh, they are hearing RSC. All they are hearing their motivation message. They are not hearing the message that will make them to be weeping. That will make them to repent. That will make them to come to Jesus Christ. I pray that God will deliver the old church in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Repent for your sin. If you are still living in sin, repent today. Jesus Christ is coming soon. There is no time to wait, my people of God. Repent. Jesus is the way and the truth. And I pray that God Almighty will deliver us, deliver his children for sin and for the wicked will of this world in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have not received Jesus Christ, accept Jesus Christ today as your Lord, as your personal Savior. And he will deliver you and he will set you free from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. I also deliver you for the power of sin. He also deliver you for the power of in the name of Jesus. Can God bless you, my people of God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching my video. I bless God Almighty. I cover this broadcast with the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Shalom, my people of God. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Amen.